Welcome to Medical Discovery News. I'm Dr. Norbert Herzog. And I'm Dr. David Niesel. Anytime you pick up your prescription, you can find a list of side effects. None you want to experience, but for scientists, they represent an array of possible new therapies to treat other diseases. These are clues for the repurposing of drugs. One great example is a recent experiment that revealed how low doses of a common antibiotic, doxycycline, could reduce neuroinflammation in Parkinson's disease. That means it lowers the toxic effects of a protein that accumulates inside the brain. In people with Parkinson's, a class of cells called dopaminergic neurons die, causing people to shake and develop muscle stiffness. The discovery that doxycycline could protect these nerve cells was totally accidental. Researchers studying mice with Parkinson's disease noticed the rodents weren't displaying symptoms any longer. They realized after some research that the mice had just started receiving food containing low levels of doxycycline. This led to a series of experiments. Using nerve cells in culture, they found that when low doses of doxycycline were included, the cells did not die. Even though the protein still accumulated and formed damaging fibers inside the nerve cells, there was an 80% decrease in the amount of these fibers, so they didn't do as much damage. Also, doxycycline reduced the inflammatory conditions that kill nerve cells. There's also evidence that the antibiotic may influence the genes that directly play a role in Parkinson's disease. While the specific mechanism of how this works is not yet well understood, the results may repurpose an existing drug into a valuable new treatment for many people. We are Drs. David Niesel and Norbert Herzog at the University of Texas Medical Branch and the Frank H. Netter School of Medicine at Quinnipiac University, where biomedical discoveries shape the future of medicine. For much more and our disclaimer, go to medicaldiscoverynews.com.